Hi, this is Phil Hinton and welcome to another video here on avforums.tv. In this edition, we were invited along to JVC House to find out more about the X3, X7 and X9 3D projectors coming our way from November. So, um, the new projector range for this year from JVC, we have three models, the DLA X3, a DLA X7 and the DLA X9. Uh, all models are 3D capable, so that means we will have the opportunity to add an additional emitter and glasses. So a consumer can enjoy 3D playback from 3D Blu-ray player or Skybox or even PS3. Uh, in addition to that, to be able to playback 3D, that means we need to have a, a, a bigger light source. Um, so all the projectors will have a 1300 lumens output utilising a 220 watt uh, UHP lamp source. In addition to that, because of the fact that we have a, a bigger light source, we now means the optical block needs to be changed and that also means the uh, lens system has now been changed and cooling. So the size of the overall dimensions of the projector have also changed uh, quite a bit. Um, so the X3 will be available in not only the usual black but in uh, pearlescent white as well. So this year's new lineup will feature improved contrast ratios. The DLA X3 now has 50,000 to 1 native contrast ratio. Uh, DLA X7 now has uh, 70,000 to 1 native contrast ratio. And the flagship model DLA X9 has 100,000 to 1 native contrast ratio. X7 and X9 will all uh, will both feature uh, a color management system, a seven point color management system and uh, we're currently going through um, scrutineering for both the THX and ISF standard on both models. Okay, to um, enable 3D playback, we have an emitter uh, in the box, and that can be connected to the rear of the projector. As you can see, we situated it on the projector itself, um, pointing at the screen, so once the um, infrared information is being pointed at the screen, it will then reflect off the screen and activate the glasses which will have a sensor built into them. So the glasses power up once it receives a uh, um, IR signal to activate the shutters on the active glasses. So within the system of the colour profiles of the um, projector, you can select 3D mode and then you can adjust if you want it for THX setting or Vivid or uh, standard uh, colour profile uh, as well. So we're trying to make it as flexible as possible for the consumer's viewing. So at launch we'll have within the box uh, the emitter and two pairs of active glasses within the box. Uh, so that'll be for a limited time only and then we'll go down to uh, one pair of glasses. So to compare this year's models to last year's models, because that's going to be the obvious question, should I upgrade or not? Um, they are totally different beasts. Um, if you looked at last year, it was very similar to the previous years to that as well. So in terms of contrast ratio, you were looking at 35 to 1 lead in and then step up to 50 and then step up to 70,000 on the DLA 990. But as I mentioned uh, previously, because of the new lamp source, everything has been changed inside. So the device, um, the aperture control, the optical engine, the new wire grid optical engine, how we produce the contrast, everything has been changed. So uh, totally re-engineered, so definitely 100% um, a definite improvement up in, in terms of picture performance. So lamp life, for instance, um, same, same as before, so 3,000 hours, but in terms of performance, Last year's model across the board was 900 lumens except for the, um, the, except for the 550 which was 1000 lumens. Uh, you now have 1300 lumens uh, across the board so for 2D performance it's superb. Uh, and Then obviously you have the additional benefit of 3D. Um, in terms of colour profiles we are various colour profiles including Adobe, sRGB and DCI. Um, so we can use standard gamut or we can extend that uh, depending on the consumer's um, requirements, ideal for PC uh, or computer use. Last year we introduced clear motion drive on the 550, 950 and 990. This year we have improved upon the clear motion drive. So before it was um, 50 frames up to 100 frames per second and now we've uh, uh, upgraded that to feature black frame insertion. Two models will be available in November, the DLA X3 
at 3699 and DLAX7 at 6699. And later on in December, we'll have the DLAX9 at 9699.